Hello everyone, welcome to AI Sciences. My name is Ajay Hamid, and today we are going to discuss about stationarity check. So stationarity check is a term that is related to data sets. Whenever we have a data set, we want to see if we can perform the machine learning analysis on it, the forecasting on it with the help of neural networks or with the help of classical machine learning methodologies. So the, those classical machine learning methodologies can be something like ARIMA and SARIMA and those you know network based algorithms can be such as RNNs. So if we want to do the forecasting the first thing that we need to understand is the data set must be stationary. So to do that we always have to check the stationarity ourselves. So let's discuss today how we can discuss uh, stationarity and how we can see if any data set is stationary or not so for that we need a few things the first thing is numpy the second is pandas the third is matplotlib and the last one is stats models so let's write import numpy as pandas then let's write import pandas as pd after that let's write import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and at the end let's write from stats models dot graphics dot tsa plots import plot underscore acf i don't know if we are going to use it but still let's just take them out so that if we need them later okay dot pipe plot right here pipe plot after this the next thing is to read the data set so let's read it let's write df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv the data set that we are going to use is air pollution so let's write air pollution dot csv and let's run this and let's see the data set so this is the data set this is pollution today this is dew temp pressure wind speed snow rain and pollution yesterday so these are all the things that are available here we can also check the different properties of this data set by writing df dot describe so this is it this is the total count every column has 1825 values other than that this is the main for the first column this is the mean for the second column this is the standard deviation for all the columns then the minimum value in all the columns then the maximum value of all the columns are here and this is these are the values that are below 25 percent these are the values that are below 50 percent and these are the values that are sort of below 75 percent okay so now that we are done with that let's plot this so that we can see what we are talking about so for that first we need to write plt dot figure and we also need to give it a fixed size let's give it a fixed size of 30 cross 10 after this let's give it a face color as well let's give it face color of white and let's give it an edge color of black So what should be the title? The title should be air pollution and its font size should be 30. 
and now let's plot the column pollution underscore today from the data frame sorry plt dot show okay so this is the complete graph of the pollution today column as you can see these are the spikes that are available here now to see that if these spikes are causing our uh, you know system to uh, become non-stationary we need to have add fuller test so where is the add fuller test available it is available in stats model .tsa .stats tool. so let's write from stats models dot tsa dot stat tools import add fuller right so let's import it and after this what we need to do is we need to take the column and put all of those values into a new variable x so let's write x is equal to df dot pollution underscore today dot values and what should be the result the result should be whatever we are getting from add fuller so after this let's print out three things from this result the first thing is result of zero which is giving us the adf statistic the second thing is p value which is in result one and the third thing is critical values which are available in result four so for the first thing let's write adf statistics let's write result zero here after this let's write p value and let's write result one here and after this at the end let's print the critical values so let's write print critical values so there are more than one value so let's write for key value in result for dot items print there are two things that we want to print the first one is percentage for that we will write slash t percentage s here t will tell us one percent five percent or ten percent and the second thing is we need to see how much that percentage is so for that we need to have a maximum of three decimal and after this we need to enter the key and the value as well so this is how we are going to print out our values so there we go as you can see our adf statistic is 10.11 in the negative our p value is 0 0.000 and our critical values are these at one percent at five percent and at ten percent now the next thing is what if uh, how to know if it is stationary or not with these statistics our data set is stationary why there are two things that are important the first thing is the adf statistics should be in negative so as you can see this is in negative other than that the p value should be lesser than 0 0.005 as you can see this p value is actually lesser than 0 0.05 it is actually equal to zero up to a lot of decibels 
so this means that this data set is stationary and we can perform machine learning on neural networks on it if it was not stationary we would have performed square root test for our data set so this is how we can perform add fuller data set test to check the stationarity other than this augmented decay fuller test there are a lot of other tests that we can also use so that we can will be discussed in the next videos other than that in the next video we will also take a data set that is non-stationary so that we can know how we can make it stationary and how we can utilize that to make our machine learning and neural network predictions so for now let's wrap up this project and we'll see you in the next video thank you